Well, that was a uh, very rough episode I just finished. Um, I literally had to take a break for about an hour um, to rejuvenate myself. Dude, I had completely drank an energy drink. And I still felt like I had just worked an eight-hour shift. Episode eight nearly broke me with how good the... Just everything was. Just how good everything was. The voice acting. The music. The, the, the pans of the shots. It was... It was great. Um... At the end of the episode, we got to see something Hime, um, she was having a dream, um, so I'm assuming we're probably gonna catch on with that, um, and it looked like she was holding someone's hand, it sounded like a girl, but I could be wrong, um, my, my, my memory is still a little bit of a, of a, of a phase, so, I don't know, I, I'm, like, it's been, that was a very rough episode. I, I don't know where our two main characters are going to go after this. Um, I, I have a feeling this might be a more school-centered episode. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah. I'm ready to jump into this episode. Uh, episode 9. So, jump on it with me. So, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 9 of Heavenly Re Delusion. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Intro? Intro. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I was right. We're getting to school. So multiple people can see the girl. Yeah, so this is when he's younger. Six fingers. I remember that, like, he was in love with her. I think that's... I'm assuming that's a girl. Just dips out. <gasps> Wings? Those kind of look like the same symbols as the man eaters. Well, I mean, the blue, the blue hue. Well, that explains how she was just hanging. Oh. Did she stop the fall? Mimi Hime. Hey, 
So she actually went shorter on her hair from the looks of it. That's impressive to get to that sitting position while crouching. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The doctor had that. English doesn't sound like that, by the way. If you're gonna go hire something for English... If you're gonna have a higher, if you're gonna get someone who speaks English, make them actually sound like they speak English, like actually. Like if you're gonna be a translator and like English is a second language, sure. But like I'm assuming she's speaking English for that person. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's all connected. I was about to ask. Man eater? That's a big earthquake. Stop just as fast. Away? Mm. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, completely. I don't think it can get back up. Yeah. You can, but should you? Exactly. He he's just gonna go shit. Hey, first comes first serve. Oh, in case they're like robbers. He thinks they're robbers. They don't look like bandits. Weird transition. Don't get a chill and strenuous. Hmm. Hmm. 
そろそろ授業を始めようかなと思ってます I was about to see, I was about to say, I was like, is she getting like remnants of Azusa? They just said her health was fun, though. That's an interesting saw. It's not a cast saw, though. That is going to take off. He's acting a little bit fishy. Why is this so dramatic? I'm still trying to figure out where the school is then. Good point. But of course, it's going to require a lot more money. Ten years? Ten years?
権限を与えますじゃあどういうわけだ青島を昇格させる理由は青島さんは私が最も信頼する人間だからです女性によって支配されたマッチは20代から40代の女性を中心に30人以上に学生目黒に正義をぐるりとバリケードで囲んでもし男が間違って近づけば殺されますただしごく野蛮に顔や健康状態などが気に入られると町に監禁され金蓋と呼ばれ変われます僕はこの町で金蓋11号として10年を過ごしました金蓋の役目は雑誌に載って女性への正義の伝承です。僕はある時、近くにも立ってる。そうです。指名されました。やがて、そのうち一人が妊娠し、女の子が生まれれば人間として町に受け入れられますが、男の子が生まれたら母親から取り上げられ、金蓋として我々が育てます。Is that the same? That's the same school. So what we're seeing is flashbacks. If that's, a, if that's the same school, it's been multiple years since then. Maybe not. If that's the same one, but it. I, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually curious. Keep paying him. He's gonna lie. Yeah, that's a, that's a logo. Takahara Academy. Oh. It's that? No. Well, yep, you can see the symbols. <laughs> Doesn't look like any part of the school I recognize. If it's an artwork piece, nope, don't recognize that one. Hell of patience.
I'm like trying to pay attention to everything. Because this was a big... It was a school with walls around it. So it's definitely not this place. Is it like a subsidiary of it? Possibly? Hmm. Sorry. Flip it around. Oh, patience. Heaven. Ah, okay. But we need to go to the facilities. Getting creeps. Yeah. I have a feeling they're a Baraka. Ooh. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Yes. Okay, so it is confirmed that it is Takahara Academy. Okay. So it is confirmed that it is Takahara Academy. I mean, they have the same symbol. So it's got to be one of the um, facilities. I have a feeling it's Ibaraka or Ibaraki. I think it was Eeyore. I'm not entirely sure. A lot of questions on this one again. Um... It, that was kind of weird. Like I, I thought for a second they were talking about like how the the academy was a place in the past, but then it seems like it could have been just a different story, and then that story is called into question because of that guy. Yeah, um, I had a feeling that something would have might have been a little bit off with her. I had a distinct feeling she might have been pregnant. I just I should have brought it up when I thought about it, but I think a lot of stuff was happening at the same time, so my head was kind of a little bit clouded, but. Interesting. I wonder how this is all going to transpire. I have no idea where this is going to go. Um, I'm going to go wrap this up, though. Uh, I'm probably going to record maybe another episode or two later on today. Uh, it'll be up for you guys later. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm still tired from that emotional draining episode last last episode. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I can, since I have tomorrow off, um, hopefully I can just get some things done. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. If you liked the video, uh, just give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you would like, subscribe. I don't normally, I don't hardly ever do this now, but I could use the support. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.